Hi. Come on in. Come on. You've been here before, so you know where you are. If you haven't been here before, hi. My name is Connie, and you have just entered Connie's little corner. Yes, no hairpiece again today. Mother Nature's still at it. 100 degrees today. AC is on. Hair is up. There is no way I'm putting on a hairpiece. She's sitting right here. I'll show you. I got her ready, even with the headband. She's ready. She's not going on anytime soon. <laughs> okay. I am back with more Timu. This is not a sponsored video, but it is Timu. And wow, do I have some bargains and deals that I have to show you that I got. There was one item that I've been for months wanting and saving up my credits. And I finally had enough. And if I would have waited one more day, I would have had enough to make it totally free. But that's okay. That's all right. I'm happy. So for those of you that are new, please check down below. You will find my link, which will take you to Timu. You will also find my code, which I'll put right up here for you, AFC95851. That code will get you 50% off your first order. But you need to do that first order within one hour of downloading the app. So snoop around Timu for a little bit. See what kind of things you might want. Then go to my link. Download the app on your phone, iPad, whatever the case may be. Use my code and shop. 50% off is great. And I'm hearing from a lot of people that they are not limited on what they can shop for. In other words, you can get lightning deals, flash sales, clearance items. It doesn't matter if it's already on sale. And you are also going to get a coupon bundle worth $100. That's really good. Okay. And then, of course, they're going to give me a nice little thank you for connecting you with them. So let's get on to some of this stuff. I have a lot to show you. I have some more stuff to tell you, but I want to start with this big thing because I'm anxious to use it. Hold on. And it's whack-a-mole. <laughs> well, it's not the box I was hoping for, but it is a box. And can you see what it says on here? 29 cent order. It's all I pay for what's in here. 29 cents. I know, right? Oh my God, OMG. I'm just going to rip this bag open. I know there's something else in here. There's something that came free with it. And I'm sure it'll be in the bottom of the bag when I pull this out. Oh. Hold it. Hold on, my lap can only hold just so much. Where is it? There it is. Okay. So I'm going to show you the little free thing because you know if you have the Timu exclusive program, when you place a daily order, and now all of a sudden they're not doing it with every single thing. Now they're trying to get you to, to spend $200 and get four free items. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that. Don't you fall for that either. But when they do offer a free item with an order, I get it. I'll always get it. Why not? Free. So as my free to go with this order, because this order did have a value of over $20 when it started. Hold on. Let me get my fingers. Oh, I can get my fingers in here. This is Charlie. For those of you who are new, Charlie's my slicer and dicer. His bottom also opens up and he can uh, black out anything I don't want anybody to see. Okay. These I got for free. They're very funky. I'm very into the geometrics. And they're just this really cool little pair of silver earrings. Look at those. They are posts, and I probably will take them off the posts and put them on wires. But I thought they were really, really cool. Let me put my hand behind them so it blacks out. Blacks me out, so to speak. There we go. They're just very lightweight. They're silver. They don't really have any stones on them of any kind. So, yeah, I hope Levi's behind me starting his antics again. Mr. Levi, calm down, please. Give me that chippy. Give me that chippy. I gave him a rawhide. Hopefully, that will keep him calm. When I threaten to take it, he stops what he's doing. So, anyway, that was my free gift. 
Nice little pair of earrings. I'm happy with those. And I will change them over. Can't figure out what I was doing here. Okay. The box. The box. This item had an original price of about $20. I think it was 19 and change or something like that. Or maybe it was 20 and change. I'll pull up the receipt to show you. And uh, I had been saving my credits. Long before they started throwing those $5, sorry for late orders at me, I had been saving credits for months. i have been wanting this. I refused. Some vendors had this on the site for 20 up to, I think the highest one was like $38. And I'm like, hey, I'm not paying that much. But then when I saved up my credits and I found one that had come down to like 19 some odd dollars, I'm like, yeah, okay, I got this. Nice wrapped in the box and in bubble wrap. Look at this. Look at this is. Let me take the rest of the bubble wrap off it here. This is a swivel. Food dispenser. The top spins. It's on like a lazy Susan. It has six. Let me take the top off. This is how you fill it. It has six sections and they're good size sections. Each one I believe holds somewhere between two and three cups. And of course it has the nice lid to go on top to seal everything. Each section has its own little button. Here's the tray where the what you put in here dispenses and the tray just pulls out and it even has a little point on it so that you can pour whatever you have. So this is great for grains, cereal, uh, rice, pasta, smaller pastas because it has to get through. Whoops, hold on. Can you see the little hole in the bottom? See these little rectangular holes right there? It has to be able to fit through that little rectangular hole. So when I push the button, let me find the one for this. When I push the button, it opens that little hole. I do it upside down. It's hard. There we go. It slides that little hole back out of the way so that whatever you have in there can slide out. So you can put like elbow macaronis in here or little stars or anything small, but not bigger pastas. So rice. Beans. I plan on putting uh, some cereals, some oatmeal in here, uh, dry dry foods, dry products, whatever you can think that will go in there. Lentils, um, split green peas that I use for making homemade pea soup because those are dried. So yeah, this has six containers. It's only about maybe nine inches wide and about nine inches high. So you push the button, you spin it to what you want, you push the button, it dispenses into the drawer, you pull out the drawer, you put it away. Seriously, this is so much more compact than me having six different boxes of, you know, white rice, brown rice, whatever the case may be, that take up more space. And I can still stack something on top of this if I want. So. It's attractive enough to go up on a shelf, but it's going to go into my pantry and sit on the one side where all I have to do is spin it to get what I want. I really waited for this a long time. I am so thrilled to get that. That is the best storage idea ever. Now, I do want to show you. I'm going to go into my phone and into my orders. Oops, no. am I already there? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I started to bring it up. All right, let's see. Come on, Timu. Now, you're going to know. I'm going to talk to you while I do this. Yes, I have been bringing you lots of other stuff like jewelry and whatnot, like the earrings I'm wearing are from the jewelry that I videos that I did. But my hat and this pin and this shirt and the leggings I have on and the two rings I have on, those are all Timu. Timu is still my number one go-to place. So I don't want anybody to think that I'm not going to bring you Timu or that that I think um, Timu is less than what it is. Timu is great for what it is. With Timu, 
I want everybody to please understand they do not always have the lowest prices on everything. They are very competitively priced, and for the most part, they have the lowest prices, but not all the time. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this started out to be $19.17, and it ended up being $0.29. Cents. That's all I paid. $0.29 cents is what I paid for this. Whoops. What button did I just hit? <laughs> I don't know. I just hit something when I went to turn it. So I only paid. Go ahead and get it. There we go. $0.29. Cents. That's all. That's because of all the credits. That part, that makes Timu unbeatable. No place else gives credits where you can get this item for 29 cents. I can't even begin to tell you how happy I am. It's solid. It's in better shape than I thought it would be. It's really sturdy, even though it's plastic. I am thrilled. The link for this will be below. And the vendor I got it from only charged $19.17. I never got a price adjustment on it, so that tells me he did not drop the price any further. But at 29 cents, I don't care. Seriously, I don't care, right? I don't think you would either. They're all basically the same size. Some vendors are selling them in like a green color, but most other vendors are selling these for over $20, some of them well over $30. Be careful when you shop. All right, this is just an example. Time to pull out another bag. Oh, yeah, we got a lot more to go. Let's see what this one is. La, 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 la. All right, it's just an order. It's Timu. It's not sponsored. Uh oh, there's something else in the bag. Hold on. Oh, I forgot I'm not ready for that. Okay, folks, gotta make sure it's empty. Okay, it's empty. Team has been sending all my stuff in this really nice bags. And I think they're just doing that because um, that I'm part of their influencer program. But what do we got in here? Oh, we have clothes. Yes, more fall wardrobe. You ready? This is heavy. Dun, 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 dun. Who doesn't have the typical red and white? Winter shirt, long, 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 33, 34 inches long. This is really nice. Look at this material. Can you see the weaving in here? This feels like cotton. Really nice. Straight sleeve. There's no cuff on it, no button cuff. It's just a straight sleeve. It does have a fold over collar. It is button front all the way down. It has no pockets, which I'm okay with that, that it has no pockets. It's got a little bit of a slit on the side, just a little bit, like a long shirt should. Absolutely loving this. I didn't price these again. When Timu puts them together in a bag, I don't have an individual, but you look up here, you'll see the prices. Down below, you'll see all my links. And if you like something I show you, please use my link because that will let Timu know. Hold on. Hydrate time. Mm -mm -mm. That will let Timu know that I've made a connection with you. That I'm the one that showed you this item that you're purchasing. So please use my links if there is something that you're interested in that I've shown you. Loving this, right? This is some good weight to it. So this is definitely going to be worn almost like um, like you would wear a light cardigan or a sweater. Because it is going to keep me a lot warmer than just a regular long overshirt. All right. What's next? I love these things. Oh, this is so soft. This feels like one of those lightweight. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know the men's V-neck sweaters that are pullover that have the little, like a polo logo or something? That's what this feels like. 
This is a shirt, obviously. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's a pullover, really super soft. This is 31 inches long, again with the curved hem. Straight sleeves, it's just in a basic white, but I do love the button design that it has on each side. It has one, two, three, four, five buttons on each side, just to give it a little bit of dimension, a little decor. I feel a tag under my fingers. What's this going to tell me? No surprise. I'm not telling you, because it feels good. Look at the fabric up close. Can you see the weaving in that fabric? Look at that. Can you see the fuzzy on the back of the collar? This is very, very nicely made. Loving this. This, again, has some weight to it. So this is um, like an over sweater, and it is sheer. Not super sheer, but it's sheer enough that I will wear a cami underneath it uh, or some sort of other light short sleeve. I got itchy nose. Blouse. My little guy is still sitting here. My little girl. Look at itch. You don't know. My little gnome. My woof. Tuffy gnome. <laughs> All right. More, 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 more. More, more, more. There's more down in here, too. I was worried I'm going to leave stuff in the bags. I'm terrible about that, aren't I? It's Tuesday. It's been forever since I've done Timu on a Tuesday. I don't know. I just was out running errands. I came back. I said, you know, I'm going to do a video. All right. This one's all tied up. This one's not going to surprise you either. This is a night dress, but it was very cute. And I remember it being on sale. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get it. This has little white, like cherry blossoms on them before they turn pink. Look at those. Just a nice little black, not adjustable. But it's got the nice regular scoop neck on the front. Nice soft material. But look at the little flowers. Look at the design in the flowers. Can you see the little bits? Let me turn a piece here. Can you see the little bits of yellow and the coloring in the center of the flowers? Very nice. Very simple. It's got the wrinkled hem on the bottom. It's got a crimped hem uh, along the bottom. I get true to size when I buy a night dress because they do run true to size. They are not cut the same way a blouse would be cut, where it's cut for the shoulders and the arms and everything. All of it is missing on a night dress. So there's nothing to really get stuck on you to bind. So I don't have to go up a size. On the blouses, I did go up a size on those. I think. I'm going to go in a one more bag. Oh, wait, I didn't finish this one. <laughs> All right, this was, oh, this bag is marked. This was 28 cents. And this is a little ring. Oh, how cute. It's a little purple ring. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely. It, it, it sparkles so much. Let's turn it this way a little bit. There we go. It's got crystals on the side. It's got a beautiful purple stone in the center. Absolutely love that. Now, again, with these thin bands, you're going to get them true to size. This I got from my mom. So this is just a little size six. She's got itty bitty tiny fingers. This won't even go on my finger, but it'll fit on her ring finger. That's how tiny her hands are. So I got that for mama. Her favorite color is purple. I had gotten her um, a heart ring from Chimu and somehow it got lost. So I decided I was going to get her another one. I got her a replacement. Right? Okay, next bag. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's empty. Okay. When I see bags on the floor, I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm missing something. All right. We're going to call my ass back into this one. Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Figure out where I'm going to put it. I have 11. No, excuse me. I have... um. 
more collaborations coming for you. Um, jewelry, household from other companies that I do want to show you their products. So that's coming. I have about six or seven more Timu items coming. I have a Timu sponsored haul. In other words, where Timu has given me uh, credit so that I can pick out some items on their dime uh, and show them to you. So I've got that that I'm going to order today. I have to finish picking out my items. I'm still waiting on my four bags from Amber, uh, Amber that girl. So I have quite a few more things coming, and I wanted to catch up on this stuff because it's been crazy trying to get to it. Yeah, I got boxes. I got boxes. I got bags. I got that. That's really good. You look. You can see I have a hair, my, my favorite long hair piece on the bed post <laughs> because I got another head piece, and I'm like, uh-oh. So, oh, yeah, I got all sorts of goodies in here. Let me dig down a little bit. Get some of them out. All right. And then we'll go back in the bag. I'm just so disorganized today. I'm not used to doing Chimo Tuesday. This is another head, head stand. Heck, wig stand. Head stand. Okay. It's going to go upside down and perform for you. <laughs> I want you to know just how easy these are to put together. Now, of course, um, did I price this one? I did. It was a dollar eighty-seven, but I had a thirty-cent price adjustment on it, so I paid a dollar fifty-seven for this. These are the easiest things to put together. Okay, you've got these two pieces. You can see how one's got the bottom slot, and one's one's got the slot that comes from the top. One's got the slot that comes from the bottom. The one that has the slot that comes from the bottom, this one, is actually the one you're going to put through here. And click them down. And then in the center, you have these little locks. And you're just going to center it on there and squeeze it together. Push down. Make sure it's down securely. That's your basic headpiece. Now, it has the locking ring to go on it. All you do is put this little ring in each little slot all the way around. There you go. That's it. It keeps it from folding in on itself. It's nice and sturdy. I have one over in the side corner that's holding uh, my curly gray haired piece. And I'm going to take this beautiful piece that I got the other day from Timu and slap her up on here. Hold on. I gotta do it from that side. Can't work backwards. Working backwards just is working backwards, and it doesn't work for me. Whoa! <laughs> would help if I had that on the desk, wouldn't it? All right, come on, flip over. There we go. All right. Put her on the stand. There we go. She was just going to sit on the stand. She's not perfect. Doesn't have to look perfect. She's just being held on the stand. And I was planning on putting my brand new little headband on when I wear her. So I'm just going to tuck that on there for now. So there we go. She now has a place to sit. She doesn't have to sit on top of my air conditioner anymore. So I'll put her over there for now. Those little stands are wonderful. Um, even if you have ponytails, you can clip ponytails to the ring on the top and hang them off of it underneath whatever wig you're putting on there so yeah it's a great thing all right next item this cost me 80 cents now you might remember a few hauls ago i got one of these oops hold on and it didn't it was damaged so i couldn't use it but i did the setup on my phone this is a security light camera Pull it out carefully. All right. This is what we're looking at. It has a standard light bulb fixture. And in the other one, this part was damaged. It was crushed. So obviously it wouldn't work. And I had to get another one. But in that time, the price went up. So it cost me 80 cents. I used the credit from the other one. 
It has your LED lights here. These are all your LED lights. So it will work like a regular light bulb. There's your camera lens right here in the middle. Down here is your light sensor. So when it gets dark, it will turn it on. This swivels up and down and 360 degrees side to side so that it can follow the motion. This is 5G. You see the little sticker on the bub. All right. Now, the one I got, and this is how it comes, but I don't need it because I already have a light socket out there. But if you need it, it does come with a socket, right, that you could have installed and the hardware to mount it up, like if you want to mount it up to the ceiling, so to speak. It comes with that. It also comes with memory card and this memory card is i think it's 35 gigs 32 32 gigabytes there you go you can see it memory card 32 gigs this memory card slides hold on can't remember where it goes in anyway oh right here slides into the bottom and then this little button is your release. This is your what they call the reset or release. So when you pop the card into the bottom and you need to pop it out to transfer the information or to change it, whatever the case may be, um, you just hit that or if you need to replace the card. But I love that it comes packed securely. It also comes with, hold on, let me put this in here before I damage it. It also comes with the instruction book. And it has a lot of, uh, let me turn it over here. Do I have it upside down or right side up? Right side up. Okay. <laughs> it has all the step-by-step -step information that you have to do. It starts you off over here with the step-by-step. -step. There's the code. You scan this into your phone. And then you set up on your phone to link the phone to the light bulb. So once you get it in the socket, Right. Make sure you turn your socket on. You can link your phone. And yes, I will definitely show this to you once I get it up. Hopefully this one will be fine. It doesn't appear to be damaged. But I see I'm not giving up. I really wanted to have this. So when the first one was damaged, I immediately just reordered another one. So all the instructions are here. Makes it really, really easy to do. If you can screw in a light bulb and you can take a picture to download that code, then you can get this on your phone. Piece of cake. The phone part actually was the easiest part. <laughs> it took me forever to realize at the end where it makes the connection in the socket was damaged because I couldn't figure out, like, why is this not working? Why is it not coming up? When I put my thumb over the light sensor, the lights didn't even come on. I'm like, so I started rolling it around and looking at it carefully, and then I realized I found the problem. So... That is my security lamp, and yes, I will show it in a video. Let's see what it says on here. <laughs> 360 degree rotation, Wi-Fi connected, so it's wireless connected, night vision. Uh, the card comes with it. It also has two-way audio. So if someone is out there talking to it and you're on your phone, you can carry on a conversation with who's ever at your door, even if you're not home. You can sh scare them, basically say, what do you want? <laughs> I pack it down and run. <laughs> anyway, it's called a Wi-Fi panorama camera. It meets all the necessary standards for the United States. It It's just, the power is only one watt. It doesn't use a lot of power, which I'm really surprised at. Um, the device complies with Part 15 of the FCC rules. Yeah. I'm impressed. It wasn't all that expensive without the credits. I think it was 12 or $14. The original price up on top so you can see it. But I only paid 80 cents for it because I had the credit from the first one that was damaged.
And I tell you, that credit was immediate, too. All I did was take a picture, send it to them, and boom, three seconds later, I was in like flint. Okay. Ready for more? This was $9.48 originally. I got a $3.23 price adjustment on it. That just like, wow, came down to $6.25. This is a little mini air compressor. Can you see this? It's a little mini air compressor. And it's portable for tire inflation. I had a really big, heavy Craftsman portable, so to speak, uh, air compressor. And I sold it at a garage sale, my neighbor's garage sale last week. Uh, it, it was the first thing to go in her sale. <laughs> Some guy just grabbed it up. But this is the most adorable little thing. Look at this. This is a little mini air compressor. And I'm going to plug this in, and we're going to, I don't have anything in here, of course, to blow it up, but I want to hear it function. It comes with, hold on, let me untwist everything here. You've got a good long cord, and, and I'm going to guess that this cord's probably at least six feet. This plugs into the port or in an older car, your cigarette lighter. So that's where it gets its power from. It's made for your car, small enough, right? It has your little hose. You set this down. It has, this is a really nice hose, too. Look at the material on this. That's a really well-constructed fiber hose. I really like that. And then on the end, it's got your little valve, and it's got your little push button, your little lever, where you let the air in or flip it up and not pump any air into it. So. You can control your airflow with the little thing. You can turn it off or open it up and let the airflow. That's really cool. I like that part about it. Okay. And it's got a pressure gauge. Let's see if I can turn it this way so you can see the pressure. Whoa, oh, hold on. I go that way. There we go. So it has a pressure gauge. It'll go all the way up to 300 PSI, but it lets you know what you're pumping. So you can use this. On the outside, it gives pounds. On the inside, it gives inches. So, for example, my tires are 35 pounds, which is recommended. So when I see this hits the 35 pound mark, which is right about there, yep. Then I'm going to know that my pressure's. So I have my regular hand tire gauge that I can check. But you get a flat, you need to get someplace. This will pump your tire up as often as you need to, all right, to put some air back in it so you're not stuck on the side of the road. Yes, I have a spare tire and I have a spare tire jack. Doesn't necessarily mean that I want to be changing a tire on the side of the road. I'd like to at least be able to get home to my driveway or someplace else. This, you can also use this for like basketballs or beach balls or uh, inflatable mattresses, anything you think that you need to inflate. You're just going to have to make sure that you have that needle valve for certain things because this does not come with a needle valve at all, but I'm sure you can get them. They're easy enough to get. But let's get this, let me untie this here. And I do want to hear it run. And we'll see. Mr. Levi, what are you doing back there, honey? Oh, Sadie is all the pillows. Let me show you this. Hold on. Never seen her do this before. She is way up on top of the pillows. Can you see her? She's like, oh, no, Mom, not me. Mm-mm. I have the weirdest dogs, I'm telling you. So I can't, um, oh, I can't plug this in in here. I have so I will have to go outside and plug it in and do a little demo of it, and I will definitely let you know. But I want to see how long this cord is. Yeah, I would say this is easily, oh, my gosh, probably even a little bit more than six feet. 
because my arm reach is 5'5", five five and it goes that much further than my arm. It goes like another 18 inches past my arm. So this is a really long cord. So this compressor is 300 PSI. I want you to see what's on here. All right, 300 PSI, 12 volts. 20.7 bar. This is this is powerful. 300 psi is pretty good. It, this this tire gauge swivels, so you can turn it any way that you want, so that you can see it depending left or right. It does swivel, which is a bonus. I like that. Not bad for six bucks and change, right? Six dollars and twenty five cents. Nice little air compressor, portable for the car. This is. Definitely a safety feature. For this price, if you don't have portable air pump or a tire pump, and they have all different kinds, this is just the one that I decided to try. I liked it because the fact that it had the the uh, yeah the meter on it, so that you can actually see what's going, you know, how much air is going in. And you can monitor it and you can check your own tire. It's small, it's lightweight, it's compact, which means it will sit in my little cubby or it'll sit in one of the cargo small cargo nets that I got. You've seen me haul for my car. So I got something based on the PSI that it would give me. Ease of use because it will plug into my uh, port. And the cord is long enough that I can plug it into the port, do one side of the car, pass it through at the other side and do the other side of the car if I need to. So that's why I chose this one for the elements that it offered. Um, I would highly recommend that everybody, especially if you have teenagers, young ladies, teenage daughters that you don't want stranded on the side of the road in the dark for a flat tire, get them one of these and teach them how to use it before you send them out. All right. Let them know how to use this in case they do get a flat. We got to protect the kids, the young ones, those that can't protect themselves. Seniors, if you have an older person in your family that's still driving, make sure they have one of these in their car, too, because they may not be physically able to change a tire. And they may not be cell phone savvy, and they might just be stuck out there somewhere. So holidays are coming, graduations, kids have gone off to college lately, high school kids. Yeah, they have their cell phones and they can call somebody, but come on. Let's make them a little bit more independent and learn to do for themselves instead of dropping your money all over the place, right? Or dropping their money if they have a part-time job after school or something like that. Right? Right. Okay. All right. This I am going to tell you, but I forgot to get the stuff, and I will go get everything. I am going to just briefly pause so I can run and get... I forgot i'm sorry but we're going to do something that i don't think i've ever seen anybody else do um on a timu haul with a timu item to a timu item so hold on i'll be right back okay i'm back so what i went to get was this darker ponytail with just a few gray streaks that i had told you i was going to have my um hairdresser color it for me well, someone, one of my subscribers, thank you. I don't remember who you were, but way back when, you had given me an idea of what I could do for this. So that's what we're going to do right here, right now. This was $1.87. Let me get this opened up. I didn't even know this stuff existed. All right. This is called eel hull. Where I gotta do it. There we go. Eel hull. And this is hair color wax. Can you see that? Hair color wax. Never heard of it. Ever. It's just not my thing. So. This is a three-year shelf life. It says right on the bottom, three-year shelf life. This particular one I got, color is just called gray. 
So let's open it up. It's got a nice little metal seal, metal seal, aluminum seal on the top of it. Yeah, I'm not using my teeth to open this. This is a chemical, so I'm not doing that. I will do it with my fingers. Woo! Messy. Messy, messy, messy. All right, hold on. I definitely don't want that all over the place. Gloves. I am not getting this all over my hands and then touching my mouse and my computer and other Timu stuff and my beautiful Queen Anne's desk and yeah, no. I feel like I'm going into surgery here. Two hands. Now, oops, hold on. I got to take off that ring. That ring's a little high. All right. So the plan is supposedly you just put some of this wax in your hands and you just work it into the hair. It is supposed to work on human hair and synthetic. And it's supposed to make it that color. So this is the color. This is the light silvery gray, and it's pretty much the same color as the other ones that I had gotten. Got a little bit of wrapping left down there. Hold on. Peel that off. <laughs> yeah, I can never work in a salon without gloves. It's too messy. So anyway, I'm going to take some of this. Don't know how much. I'm going to take about a blob like that. I'm going to put it in the middle of my hands. Cover my hands with it, grab the wig, and start covering the wig. Oh, you can see the gray coming out. Look at that. Wow, I had no idea this was going to work so well. Can you see the gray tones now coming in, the gray streaks? Hair wax. All right, you probably knew, but I didn't. So this is giving it a lot more gray highlights, which I really like. I'm going to grab another blob of it. I don't think this will go very far, though, because this hair is kind of dark. So let's just. Work it in, work it in, work it in. Music to work by. <laughs> Very nice, actually. I like that this is working. Look at that. It has already improved this so much just by giving it, let me pull it back a little bit, just by giving it this extra tones and these extra colors is this not cool okay so this is called hair whoops yeah it's shedding but that's all right i'm okay i'm okay with it shedding as long as it's doing what i wanted it to do and it is it's giving it those extra highlights and i'm sure the more that i work it through the more highlights i will see yeah, this is really, really cool, but I'm glad I put the gloves on. It doesn't smell bad. It has almost like a sweet smell to it. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, look at that. Can you see the difference now? I wish I would have taken a picture of it before, but I know you had seen it before, how it was very, very dark with very little gray. And now it's got a lot more gray in it, really showing up nicely. What? I like that. Okay. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time doing that. Hold on a second, though. I do have to put it someplace. Yeek! All right. Oh, I'm going to look at, flip it up here to the party box, the gift box. All right. Gloves are coming off. Does that mean you're getting ready to fight? The gloves are coming off? That you're not going to be nice anymore? 
Oops, we're back squared. So it took about half of this little bottle to do that. But I'm thinking, as I was told, and I do believe it, and but I am thinking that on human hair, if you wanted to use this hair wax on human hair, it would spread a little bit better and you wouldn't need quite so much. But because that is synthetic hair, um, it's going to be a little different to try to get it spread. And what I'm going to do is I will use a comb or an old brush or something and work it through that way a little bit more. But that's really cool. Ilho. And they have it in all different shades. I just got the gray. And now I'm thinking, well, gee, maybe I can get other colors in this. And it wasn't bad. The price was very reasonable. I've had this sitting for a while. And I kept forgetting to do it. So I figured I would do it today. Isn't that weird? It's really cool, though, right? Ah! Anyway, yay! Oh, my goodness. 45 minutes. Yeah, I don't think I have anything left in the bag to show you. I don't know. Oh, I do. Hold on. I do have a couple of more things. My bad. Three more things that were in the bag. It's the thing that those icky gloves up. Okay. That was actually fun. Did you like? I love doing stuff like that. I have never seen a Timu hauler, another Timu channel, do anything like that. I'm getting really wiggy with it, aren't I? Yeah, that was bad. Never mind. 79 cents. This is a two pack, fortunately. Iron ons, and I got them in hat size. But one is going to go on a pocket, and the other is going to go on a hat. But they're identical. I put my hand behind them so you can see them. They're just these really boho suns with all the crazy colors. They got mushrooms and flowers and what else they got on them? I don't know, a weird eye and lips and sorts of oddities going around this sun. So this is really cool. I really, really like the colors on it. They do have it in a big, I think it's an eight or nine inch version, but I wanted something small. I think this was very unique. So that's definitely going to go on a hat. And these are going to go in my bag. I have a bag here of iron-ons that I still have to do. Oh, I've got so many. I've got so many. It's fun. I like doing them. And you've seen what I've done. They're coming out great. I think they're coming out great. Um, by the way, if there is anything in particular that you guys haven't seen haul, whether it be not by me or by somebody else, um, let me know because I will do my best to shop for that item and bring it and present it to you so that you can see. I get a lot of comments from you guys that, you know, you are shopping from the stuff that you see from me. So that's what I'm glad I'm bringing you stuff that you like. You do know, of course, the big holidays at the end of the year are coming. So I am doing things to prep for that. But because of this order that I've just been opening for you, this was one of the freebies. And this is just another one of those cute little covers to go over like a wine bottle. I'm putting my hand up inside so that you can actually see. He's got a two-tone little beard, little grays, little whites on his beard. Hold on, got to get, got to get it down there. There we go. Little nose sticking out and just a little red hat. So he's going to go, if you remember the white one that I had that was all fuzzy, he's also going to go. I have a couple of tall things that I want to put them on, so they're not going to go on gift bottles, so to speak, but they are going to go on bottles. So he's cute. He was free. And I thought, well, I got the all white one, so I'll get the red one with the white. But I do love the little gray accents that are in the beard. Kind of cute, huh? Look at that. For free, because obviously the item was over, the, the order was over 20. What did I do on my Christmas? I got my Christmas bag here that I'm putting all my holiday stuff in. I'm trying to stay organized. Okay, one more thing, and this was also free. Um, I don't know why they threw a second free item at me, but they did. You know what? If they're going to give it to me, am I going to refuse it? No, but it was free. See, free, free, free. 
And this was a ring, and you, I'm sure you all know by now how much I really love turquoise. It's that Native American in me. I did get this to go on my ring finger, so let's see. Perfect. Oh, I love that. Look at that ring. Look at that ring. Absolutely gorgeous. It's glittering, but there are, on each side, there are two little tiny crystals. One right there. Can you see it? See that little crystal right there? And then there's another one right here. And the same thing on this side. There's two little crystals. Let's see how close I can get. Okay, focus camera. Ah, uh, but there's a crystal here, and then there's another crystal right over here. So there's two crystals on each side, and then the three turquoise down the center. Absolutely loving this. And it was free. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's beautiful. And I did get it to fit the ring finger, and it fits true to size. I could wear it on another finger if I wanted to wear it as a fingertip finger. I could put it up pretty much on any one of my fingers I wanted to wear it on. Um, it would cross the knuckle. I wouldn't be able to bend the knuckle, but that's fine. I'm okay with that, too. Yes, that's a red Timo ring that I'm wearing, and I really like that one, too. So they came out really, really beautiful. Okay, I'm going to leave this on my finger. i go right there for now. All right, what do you think? That was pretty good, right? We went through a lot of stuff. Oh, my gosh. I Now I have to go wash out that big spinner storage thing, and I'm going to be spending time doing that while this video is uploading, washing out those clothes, finishing with this hair piece and putting more of the, the gray into it. Yeah, I'm thrilled. Everything is great. So if you hung with me, thank you. Thank you for being my subscriber. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate if you would give it consideration. Hold on. What's, oh, what's that? <laughs> That's okay. Anyway, like, share, please subscribe if you haven't already. I promise I will keep bringing you Timu, even if I do bring you other stuff. I'm always going to be coming back and bringing you more Timu. So don't bail on me just because you see me bringing you other products. I just want to make things better, give you more options and more choices. By all means, please stay hydrated. Keep comfortable wherever you are. My fan is on. You can see it on. My AC is on. It's 100 degrees on October 17th. Above all else, please stay sweet. And I will catch you again in a couple of days.